also repairing rust all the surface rust right there okay soaking it in rust dissolver and then we're gonna primer paint that thing and the uh, fluid film on top and all the good stuff that's what we like to do even though the scar is broken we're still putting love to it you know Okay guys, I'm ready to install the battery tray back in, install a battery uh, on this thing, and I actually got a new battery for it, it's pretty crazy, but uh, yeah, so I got a new battery for it, and uh, I'm gonna install everything back, and then I'm gonna uh, take, take care of that last cylinder, okay, and cylinder number 8, it's been soaking in sea foam for a while, and also I, I put some oil in there as well, so then once I put everything back, I'm gonna crank the engine with a spark plug out, and then I'm gonna reinstall the spark plug. We're gonna check the compression, but most likely the compression is gonna be the same. Uh, so we'll see, but uh, what I have, what I've discovered is that the injector might be actually bad on that cylinder number eight because 120 PSI still should be enough PSI uh, for that cylinder to fire. So what I'm thinking is one of the, that injector, you know, is getting, it's getting fuel, but maybe the injector is just clogged or stuck or it's just not spraying fuel at all. Um, or maybe spraying too much fuel, but I don't think it's too much fuel because the spark plug itself wasn't wet or fouled with, with fuel. So what I'm thinking is uh, I might just like swap one of the injectors out and see how this thing is gonna do. I can probably just swap two cylinders or I might just like order another injector because I'm, I have a good spark on it and uh, I have a good spark plug uh, in, on that cylinder. So, and 120 PSI, it should still be enough to fire but it's not firing so maybe that uh injector is not getting enough fuel or proper amount of fuel uh, or the injector itself is bad so i don't know if i'm going to figure it out today uh but we'll see i just at least want to put all this stuff back the battery and everything and start this thing up and just let it run and i want to put uh, that uh, left side interior back together okay it's been drying and then later on maybe in a week i'm going to start on the right side of the interior just got to take out the unbolt the seat and everything and just clean all the carpets up and dry it out okay as you can see this there's a funnel right there i'm about to take it out and crank the engine first like i said i want to uh you know install everything right here as you can see i fixed the rust and uh, i painted all these parts and uh you know the harness is back together and i also put a lot of grease that way this will never rust and i'm getting ready to install the a battery tray and keepers battery tray is really nice and i'm gonna put some grease on the battery tray so it doesn't rust at all um as well so it should be really nice at the end All right, I'm just gonna crank this car right now. Uh, it's not gonna start, but I wanna crank it because that spark plug hole, I just want to clear it up. Okay, let's see. Just gonna crank it a little bit, a few revolutions. Okay, that's it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall the spark plug as well as this sensor, the crankshaft. And yeah, um, I don't know about the compression. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it run with a new spark plug once again, and then I'll come back. It's probably gonna be another video that I'm gonna make um, because I need to figure out that injector. I don't, I don't think that injector is doing its job uh, because 120 PSI, like I was saying, uh, should be enough um, for the cylinder to fire all right both uh, spark plug wires 
I are reinstalled the same with the last spark plug I'm gonna go ahead and crank this thing right now and I'm just gonna see how it's running and like I said I'm not losing any hopes uh, because I'm more than sure that that injector is not good or the fuel supply to that injector is not good so we're gonna keep digging but as of right now I'm just really happy I took care of the battery tray and everything it's got a new battery cleaned up this tank for the washer fluid reinstalled everything uh, cleaned uh, uh, a few water drains um, and yeah let's go ahead uh, start this thing up let it run and you know like I said it's probably gonna still misfire because of that injector because like I said um i think that the injector is not spraying at all because the last time when i removed it that whole thing the spark plug wasn't even like soaked in fuel so and the fuel is probably not, not even getting to that cylinder you know what i mean so uh, yeah anyways it's probably gonna be a really long video and stuff but you know uh, slowly but surely we're getting this car back on the road and on its feet that includes the engine battery all that stuff and interior cleanup and all that thing Let's try it. Yeah, it's still misfiring. Yeah, as you can see, the idle is not stable, nothing. So yeah, I'll definitely keep digging. And uh, I'm gonna check out that injector next time. But as of right now, at least, it's a good thing that uh, she's running. That's a good thing. Okay, it's got a good battery and everything. So as you can see, the RPMs go up and down and everything. Yeah, this car hasn't received any love, you know what I mean? So. Right now is that time to give it all the love. But look how pretty this car is. I mean, I haven't washed this car just yet, but this car is actually really pretty. I really love this thing. Such a beauty. I have a few parts here uh, drying. I was cleaning them um, and things like that. Right, let's see this thing. Interior is getting back together. All right, the car is fully warmed up. It doesn't really fluctuate much. Uh, some smoke is coming out because of the poss possible oil spillage and stuff. Um, other than that, like I said, I gotta go back to that cylinder, check that uh, injector. And that's probably the cause of why we're not getting any combustion on that cylinder. and. I think after we fix that, she's going to be good. And I'm pretty sure that probably multiple injectors are not firing correctly. Uh, even though I did the dropouts on the dropout test. Um, and all of them dropped after I pulled the spark plug wire. Except for that cylinder, uh, the last cylinder. So, we'll come back to this. Um, as you can see, this tube broke off because of the vibration that uh, this engine has right now when misfiring <clears throat> but other than that
all right guys thank you so much for watching this really long video and that's gonna be it for that uh and as of right now the car uh still is not fixed but i did so much other work to it including the battery battery tray restoration uh and the left side interior cleanup which was a really good thing to do and uh next time when i come back i'll start uh, working on that cylinder once again and i'll probably replace the injector on it we'll see i'm just gonna do some more diagnostics but you know i know that we can restore that last cylinder uh, to the good compression readings so i'm not gonna give up we're gonna save this car it's gonna live so thank you so much for watching vito's garage um make sure you subscribe to my channel like this video and i'll see you in the next one let me know your comments down below and